Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 185 uh, and today we will pretty much start by showing you that Ronaldo did sell. I know that's like the title and stuff of this episode, uh, but if you watch the last one, or if you didn't watch the last one, you can click in the top corner and check it out. Uh, basically, it was a bit of a club tour, a bit of club maintenance, uh, really, and then we ended up coming away with this squad right here, something that I was quite interested to use uh, just for some games before the weekend league, because this has happened. We've sold Cancelo, we've sold Ronaldo, and we've sold Lacazette. So we got the prices that I actually wanted and the, the prices that I actually listed them for uh, in the last episode. Cancelo took a couple of times to sell, um, but eventually I guess his price just rose a little bit. Ronaldo sold relatively soon after I ended that yesterday's video, um, so that was annoying. I wish he would have sold in yesterday's video. But then I got all a little bit like, it's dangerous, right, me having coins, because then I want to spend them. And I'm like, D do I do I go ahead and get this Ronaldinho? And I didn't. I didn't in the end. I held off because I think that you guys probably would have not been very kind to me about that. Like, just before all of team of the season around the corner and like foot birthday and stuff i feel like maybe that's not the wisest idea so basically i did a very quick five minute poll and i told you guys to choose a number between one and four and you chose number three and it basically corresponded to one of these four loans i wanted to get one of these loans to test out and put in my squad for today uh, and weirdly enough like 60 percent or something of you guys chose literally a number three and i don't know why um, but it was literally choose one, two, three, or four, and loads of people chose number three for no reason whatsoever. So, hey, that's who we got. We got Zanetti, which is probably the least exciting out of all four of those options, in my opinion. Or maybe maybe Sadorf is the least exciting. I don't know. Um, but those are the four lone prime icon moments that I wanted to try out. So right now, we're going to get a 10-game loan on Zanetti. I had everything in my club. I don't know whether it was a an expensive way to put all of those players in there or whatever. But a lot of them were untradeable, so I don't really care. I would have spent them on a lone icon at some point in time. Uh, and then our our squad basically just brings takes Guilavoggi out uh, and brings in Javier Zanetti uh, and is on full chemistry as you can see like this. So I put a little chemistry style on him and I moved him to a centre mid uh, and I'm actually quite excited to give this little team a try out. There's a few different players in there. It's going to play like this, 4-2-3-1 of course. Uh, Nedved, central cam. Jovic up front, Royce uh, on the left-hand side of Cam, uh, and then Pulisic on the right with Zanetti and Kante as my holding midfielders. Not a, not a huge amount of height there. Zanetti's fairly tall, I guess, like 5'10 or 5'11, but that's not super, super tall. Uh, and Kante's obviously very small. Um, so we're going to go into some rivals with, with this team right here. Now, I was... Nervous because Rivals is tough. Every game I go into, I seem to come up against, well, a, a squad like this. Look at it. It's just all special items. I know that we're, we've got very similar teams, but, you know, these guys have added, like, Cruyff and stuff to their lineup. So it's a little bit scary. Uh, it's like matching the good teams that you face in the weekend league. I mean, I'm in Division 3, so you would expect people to be of that sort of decent level. And, and, and any higher divisions, of course, you would expect the same. Um... But this is about my level, I have to admit. We, we've never really got into, like, the we've never hit 2,000 skill rating. Uh, I'm just not that good of a FIFA player compared to all of the other guys that are, are able to get there. Um, and I don't necessarily like playing rivals. But we've gone into it today, and I, I wanted to try and enjoy this team. I wanted to try and have fun. Play some nice FIFA. Uh, try and gauge how good someone like Zanetti is, because I'm interested, you know. Uh, I nearly went and bought this 91 Cruyff. Um, for, for our video today. I, I nearly bought Ronaldinho or I nearly bought Cruyff and I decided to not do that. Uh, maybe I could gauge your interest in something like that today. Let me know down below in the comments section if uh, me owning a player like that is a good idea or if something that you would enjoy seeing uh, or whether I should hold out for a foot birthday or for tots or for better prime icon moment SBC. I don't know. Uh, whatever the next big thing is, I've got 1.8 million I could spend on it. Um, but yeah, we go to 
2-0 down in this match. So obviously not a great start. Two goals from Johan Cruyff. Uh, but some really nice passing play and stuff. And eventually we end up smashing at home with uh, Jovic. So that's a good goal. He's, he's, he's an interesting player. I actually quite like him. This Royce is also very, very good. But Jovic plays it in to Marco Royce. La Croqueta past David Luiz and bangs it in the back of the net. So 23 minutes on the clock. And not only has my opponent scored twice... But I've, able, uh, I've been able to score twice and get back in the game. So I didn't quite know how this this match was going to go. I thought I was going to lose like 5-0 after going 2-0 down. Uh, but a couple of good saves there from Allison sort of keep me back in this game. Nedved then plays it to Jovic. We get past the defender. But the shot was a little bit wide of the post and we weren't able to score. Nedved then once again. I mean, he gets tackled by Guendouzi there. But we pick it up with Zanetti with a good challenge. And that actually leads to us getting our third goal and turning this match around. So it was a, a good sort of a good defensive read from Zanetti there and a good tackle to basically put us through. However, everything Cruyff touched turned to gold. He, he seems like he's insanely good. I would love to try him out at some point. But at halftime, as you can see, in very odd circumstances, circumstances I have 61% possession that is so unlike me nowadays like my opponents have been getting better and better uh, and and really out possessing me lately so we get a long free kick opportunity and I score it with Royce I never score free kicks this year I used to score a couple of free kicks with Neymar but they would be the close ones and I would just whip it over the wall but I don't know if I've ever scored a long distance one this year so uh, Lone Royce doing big things for us there Ebra then getting inside the box I was doing what a couple of my opponents have been doing in the, in the last couple of episodes um, and lacroquettering my way through the box and it seems to work quite well I'm trying to learn how to do that because it's it seems like a very, very difficult thing. You're either going to get a penalty or you're going to get an opportunity to score. So I need to make sure that that is a part of my game. So we actually win. Uh, and we're up to 1,969 skill rating. Uh, we get like the perfect 950 rank points as well. That's obviously a good thing. We complete a daily objective uh, to unlock ourselves a bronze pack. You know, no one cares about that. But guys, if you do enjoy today's episode, I haven't asked you that. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's aim for somewhere near 2,000 likes. If you can get that, I'd be very, 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 very happy. So I went out and picked up some uh, squad fitnesses. We had literally none in the club after the last weekend league because I played so many matches. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I had to go out and buy a few of them. I got them for 850. I didn't buy that many. Hopefully buying like six or seven like I did and then getting rewards later in the week. That will uh, be beneficial to us and we'll have enough for the next weekend league. So I go 1-0 down against this guy. I could tell instantly that this was going to be a boring game. Uh, just because he had so much possession. So in the last game, I was the one to be in control of the, uh, of the play. But not this time around. This guy held the ball very, very well. Uh, but Route 1 style, we whip it up. And uh, Pulisic misses the volley, but Royce is there to tap home. And <clears throat> we get our equaliser 31 minutes on the clock. Uh, Royce then misses that opportunity. Zanetti takes the shot, but shooting is not his strong point. In fact, it's his worst stat. Uh, and you definitely don't want to be shooting with him if you don't have to. Um... So at halftime, it's one all, but as you can see, 58% of possession for my opponent. Uh, but Zanetti's been doing great. I actually really like him. He's been making challenges left, right, and center, intercepting the play very well. He does seem like an absolutely class CDM on this game. Uh, his passing is great. He gets us through here, and eventually it ends up with Pulisic, and I, I score. Uh, he moves the keeper the wrong way, uh, and just, just that little bit of hesitance from me inside the box led to the goalkeeper movement which led to being an open goal for me in the end but that didn't last very long my opponent gets his two all equalizer um a few minutes after we scored uh, and then Jovic turns turns the defender plays it into Zanetti and what a ball back that is to to Marco Royce but I wasn't able to finish it I hit it straight into the goalkeeper and that was my chance to win. So eventually this guy literally ended with 60% possession. But other than that, the game was pretty much super even in terms of chances, passing accuracy and all of that stuff. He just held the ball 20% more than I did. Um, so it was very, very boring and not enjoyable in the slightest. But we move on to the next one. Another super team, another great squad. Uh, very worried to come up against Werner and Ibra. And well, Alfonso Davies, Royce and Matthias are... are difficult as well uh, they're great players now this guy was good he whips it in with Alfonso Davies and uh, well he scores a header with Werner 
Uh, I accidentally throw it out to him. Uh, Ibra reads that one nicely. He uh, he plays it across and a terrible touch from Allison. I don't know why he's palming it out just there. Should be getting more on that and we go 2-0 down. And then Alfonso, da Alfonso Davies makes it 3-0. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm out. I, I don't need to play this one. This one's winding me up. 42 minutes on the clock. I've lost. It's 3-0. This guy was a better player than me. So we're going to our third or our fourth and final match for the episode then. Another full special team. Uh, I'm hoping that he's, his De Bruyne will go missing just like his dynamic image will or has done. But he's got Seydorf. He's got lots of other good players. It was an incredibly boring first half. Just a lot of play in the middle of the park. Trying to try my best to, to outmark his players. He brought on a Totti and Bappe, by the way. Uh, and I, I went into the menus to check which one it was. Uh, because I was curious, you know. I want to be. I want to know how, how dangerous he's going to be. How much I've got to really uh, focus on defending on someone. So if you go into like the, the player levels and stuff, you can see which rating they are. Uh, and it was a 97 one. Brilliant. Just, just what you want. But in the second half, um, I really sort of turned it up a bit bringing on Ibra and Aubameyang helped me quite a lot I had aerial threat on my side and he did, he wasn't defending that super well um so being able to win headers like this right here with Ibra down to Aubameyang Jovic picks it up back to Ibra into Royce that's just quality play right there and we're able to score that goal 81 minutes in finally the deadlock is broken uh, and uh we, yeah we get our one nil goal Ibra then tries to make it two with a, a left footed shot but it is saved by Petr Cech uh, and then in the end, I think we pretty much just, uh, well, do I go for it again? Yeah, it doesn't quite work out for us, but we end up getting the 1-0 win. Um, and, and this guy really had nothing all game. Three shots, two on target. We were able to hold him off quite nicely. There, but there was just an awful lot of play in the middle of the park. I really came into things in the second half. So, we push up into rank two. We're probably not going to end up staying there, though. I, I, rank two, rank three, they're, they're both the same to me in Division three. It doesn't really matter. Um, we came away with uh, a foot swap player, which I didn't expect to do this week. Uh, I've literally already submitted most of my foot swaps. So, uh, if, if by the end of the month that's the only one I've got, then I will, of course, just submit that for a silver players pack or something. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll acquire one or two more. So Zanetti, after his four games, doesn't have any goals or assists. But I must just say that he is quality. I really, really liked him. I think he did a superb job in the DM spot. Uh, he, he just mops up everything and he's got enough pace. He's got enough about him. Genuinely an impressive player on this game. I liked him a lot. Jovic up front, really liked him. Royce was brilliant. Uh, and actually, Pulisic, who we own, uh, is, is very interesting as well. Loads of pace. Brilliant dribbling. Seems to be able to finish as well. Very tricky player. I might actually uh, promote him to my substitutes bench uh, because he was he impressed me that much. So, so yeah, we've learned quite a lot from this episode. Obviously, we've sold Ronaldo, we've sold Cantelo, we've, we've now got all of our coins at our disposal, 1.8 million's worth. I don't quite know what to do with them. We'll figure it out, but let me know what you would like to, or who you would like to see in the squad. Is Ronaldinho or Cruyff just a head's gone? Is it a bad move? Is it a good move? Is it a fun move? Let me know what you think down below. And whilst you're there, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow the Twitter, follow the Insta. Those links can be found down below. I mean, apologies for the... I've got like red eyes and stuff. I'm so tired. It's super late uh, at, the, at night as I'm recording this episode for you guys. But hey, you got to push through. you got to grind these videos out. Uh, sometimes you're going to look tired, right? Have a lovely day, everyone. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.